Am I the A for telling my 23 female boyfriend, 24, that it's his fault if he misses our flight and that I'll continue without him? My boyfriend and I planned a trip for the end of the summer, months ago. Last night, we were still trying to decide how we'd get to the airport. When my mom told me that she could take us before work, I told my boyfriend, who lives 30 minutes from my house, to be at my house no later than 6 a.m. for my mother to drive us to the airport at 6.15. He promised that he would be there around 5.45. This morning, he was nowhere to be seen or heard from until around 6.20. He told me that his phone fell and he didn't hear it. By then, my mother had to leave and just take me or she'd be late to work. I told him that he should drive to the airport or get an Uber. His mom decided that she will drive him an hour to the airport since he was too late for my mom to take us. He gets to the airport a little after me and I check in our bags. We get to the bag drop and he realizes he does not have his ID. His wallet is at his house, which is about an hour from the airport. I tell him that I'm going to continue to TSA and go to the gate. His mom is going back to get his wallet, which will obviously take a while. I tell him that I'm getting on the flight regardless, and that if he misses it, then it's a result of his own mishaps. He then begins to ask me what to do if he misses it. I tell him that he's an adult and should figure out a way to make it to our destination by contacting customer service. I planned everything for the trip, down to the flights and travel arrangements. I feel like at this point, I've done all I can do to ensure a successful and smooth trip. And I don't feel like it's any of my responsibility to do damage control for him if he misses the flight. There is no refund from the Airbnb that we split the price for if we do not go. Am I the a-ho for continuing without him? Now for the comments. Not the A. Boyfriend needs to grow up and act like an adult. You've done all the work up to this point. All he has to do is show up on time with the proper ID to make it through security. And he couldn't do that. He needs mom to bail him out. If he misses the flight, it's a good opportunity for him to learn about what consequences are and to sort out his own issues for himself. For OP, his reaction will tell you a lot about him. If he does miss the flight and has to figure things out himself, does he get mad at you or pout? Or does he own up to his own mistakes and accept responsibility and apologize for causing these issues. I agree. First, it was not waking up on time, and he couldn't even remember to double check for his wallet. I gave him grace, but that's just something I can't understand. Is he like this in other aspects of life? Honestly, it sounds exhausting. If so, some time alone will help you gain some perspective. Enjoy your trip, alone or otherwise. He's often late, which is why I told him an earlier time specifically to avoid that. I called him endlessly, and he didn't wake up until way after the time we agreed upon. His mom had to go to him and wake him up. I told her that I was going to leave without him, and she said, he was up late. So was I. I already told him that I was getting exhausted of planning literally everything, and that I want him to begin to take some charge and responsibility. And this happens. Thank you. Not the A. Solo travel is the best. I discovered that fact accidentally while serving in the Peace Corps in Africa. Another volunteer and I planned a trip to Cape Town, South Africa for our first teaching break. 
She got sick a day before we had planned to board the overnight bus. She told me to go without her. I did, and it was the best vacation I ever had. Since then, I've traveled all over the world alone, and every trip has been memorable. I would have done the same thing you did. He messed around and found out. Whether he ever made it or not would not have bothered me in the least, nor would it have impacted me having a great time. I do plan to solo travel once I finish graduate school. You already took several steps to mother your boyfriend by making sure he wouldn't miss this trip. You already planned the entire trip. Something to reflect upon. He has not grown up yet because at 24, his mom is still covering his butt for his mistakes. And as his girlfriend, you're being brainwashed into thinking you should be expected to do the same for him as a partner. This is an unfortunate and common pattern women fall into as nurturers. Helping one another out is one thing, but to what extent do you feel you should have to parent your partner? You sound like you have a good head on your shoulders at 23. Consider what your ideal partnership looks like. And if you think this imbalance of mental load is sustainable in the long term. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.